All right, hey guys, I know that uh, some of you, I am not in class today for I am in a meeting, so I made sure to make this video so that if you have any questions that I have uh, at least helped you with part of this equivalent expressions practice. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna do at least one from every section. So we've got for each of the following expressions, write an equivalent expression. So with three plus four, an easy, easy one for that could be just four plus three. Um, if we were looking at, um, we've got um, six X plus four, remember our distributive properties that we practiced yesterday, um, and that could just look like six distributed or multiplied by X, so we're gonna write six X, and then six distributed to our four, so six times four, and that's going to be adding 24. Okay, so that part's pretty easy. You're just writing um, equivalent expressions. So Adam wrote the expression 6 multiplied by 20 plus 3 plus 4 to calculate how much money each of his friends will have to pay for their own meals at a charity dinner. Which expression is equivalent to the one that Adam wrote? All right, so we've got 6 times 20 plus 3 plus 4. So we could write this as six times 20, which 20 times six. It looks like they didn't actually solve that, so we don't need to do that. So we have six multiplied by 20 plus six times three. And then we're adding four at the end. So. Obviously, A is just saying you're going to add 6 and 20, so we know that's not correct. Uh, we've got 6 times 3 times 6 times 3, or 6 times 20 times 6 times 3. We know we're going to add 6 times 20 plus 6 times 3, so that can't be right. 6 times 20 times 4, so they moved that 4 into the middle here and decided to multiply it rather than add it, so that's not going to work. And 6 times 20 plus 6 times 3 plus 4 looks exactly like what we wrote. So that's our answer. Okay. I'd like to read through and at least help you think about what number 11 is saying. The 6th grade students from Jackson Intermediate School went to a musical production at a theater. The principal bought 83 student tickets for $3.75 each and seven adult tickets for $5.25 each. The parking fee was $15. The principal wrote the expression below to determine the total cost of the trip. 83 multiplied by $3.75 plus seven times $5.25 plus the $15 parking fee. We're going to find an expression that's equivalent to the one written by the principal. Now, we looked at one very similar to this before, um, where we had, we are looking for one that is equivalent, so we need to make sure that we have our $3.73 multiplied by 83, our $5.25 multiplied by 7, and our 15. So we could go ahead and solve all the way out or we could look for those different pieces within our different answer choices. Okay. Chef Cal bought three pounds of turkey for $99 per pound. I think it's supposed to be 99 cents. Let's so put a dot there, 99 cents per pound. Three pounds of cheese for $1.52 per pound and three loaves of wheat bread for $1.46 each. Chef Cal wrote the expression below to find his total for the, th for the items. Three multiplied by that 99 cents, plus three multiplied by that $1.52 cents, plus three times that $1.46 cents. We're trying to find which expression is not equivalent. Again, you could solve all the way out, or you could look for the different pieces just moved around in the expression, as long as we're not going to end up with different groupings because remember your order of operations might change if you group differently how that is solved. Okay. 
Eric has 25 apps on his phone. 12 are game apps, 4 are short sports apps, and 1 is a homework help app. The remaining apps on Eric's phone are music apps. The expression below can be used to determine the number of music apps on his phone. 25 minus 12 plus 4 plus 1. All right, so with addition, we can move all sorts of stuff around. But remember with subtraction, that the, the, um, the number that it's being, that's being subtracted from, this needs to be in the front because it's saying 25 minus whatever this is. So don't forget that because that could change it if you decided to subtract 25 from these numbers. Matt has seven quarters, four dimes, three nickels, and eight pennies. He wrote the expression below to determine the total amount of change. Seven multiplied by 25 cents, four multiplied by 10 cents, three multiplied by five cents, plus eight multiplied by one cent. So remember you're adding all of these. You can switch their order. You can switch the order within the groupings, but if you change your groupings, you're gonna end up multiplying and adding a bunch of different numbers that will end up, because our order of operations will be changed, getting a completely different number. So you can try and add all of these up and multiply and solve it completely, or you can just look for your different pieces and make sure that they're together, like we did on Monday. Um, all right, you guys, I know that you can do this, and I recognize the fact I did not give you answers. I only explained this um, other than number one and five and number nine. I think you can do it. I think that um, you just need some more practice, and I'd like to see what you can do. Um, do as much as you can in class. The rest that you have not finished is going to be homework. So make sure your name is at the top. If you finish in class, turn it into your class drawer. And I will see you guys um, either if I'm not in your class, I'll see you tomorrow or I'll see you in class today. All right. Bye, guys.